Hey guys, Azami here. Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on what the best tech crafts are for you to get. So let's just get right into it. There will be a lot of tech crafts throughout this video that I either skip or don't go into full detail. For example, if you want to do time attacks, I will be putting a link in the description that you'll want to check out. It'll give you a description of what crafts you'll want to get. So make sure if you're interested in that, go check that out. Otherwise, this video is going to be a tutorial on the tech crafts that you'll use on a daily basis. So starting off, you're going to want to get three power crafts for your fire techs. Those are going to be Blazing Foy, Blazing Gifoy, and Blazing Rafoy. Those are really good for doing lots of damage, so I recommend getting the highest power value possible on these techs. You're going to be using them a lot for mobbing and bossing. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that these techs can also be really good for building your compound tech. So if you want to get Fomel fast, you're going to be using a lot of Gifoy and Rafoy on stuff that's weak to it. Foy can be used in a lot of situations where Rafoy or Gifoy aren't good. For example, the flying mobs in TD4 are really good to Foy. It works a little bit like Ilzan, except it doesn't penetrate, so you gotta be really careful about how you use it. Now, Safoy is a bit different from the other techs. Since they have a Type 0 Safoy, it works a little bit like Ilzande, except it's got an AoE around you and it stops you when you hit enemies. I would recommend grabbing it, it's pretty fun to use. You can use it for things like starting and building chain if you're running some form of gunner combination. Uh, you can also use it to climb mountains just for fun, but it's a pretty cool tech. So for Shifta, you're going to want to get multi Shifta even if you're playing a support build. You'll just end up hitting more people and giving them a longer Shifta buff with this craft. So the last fire tech we're going to look at is Ilfoy. And for Ilfoy, you're going to want to get concentrated Ilfoy with a pretty high charge time reduction. The demerit is it has less power, but it still ends up being strong enough. You can use it for Ilfoy exit bursting if you want to gain experience fast. Uh, you can also use it for various tower defenses. It just works out really well. Ice techniques are pretty simple. There's only really three of them that you need to craft. Uh, the first one would be Gibarda. Gibarda is going to be the ice technique that you're going to use for stuff like ult nebarious mobbing and anything else that's weak to ice and dies relatively quick. You're also going to want to look at getting multi-hit D-band. Same thing with Shifta and the Shifta buff duration. Multi-hit D-band works the same way. The last ice technique you're going to want to get is Ice Fang Ilbarda. Ice Fang Ilbarda, just give it a high power craft. It's going to be your main bossing tool for ice techniques. There's not too much content that requires it right now, but for a few of your super hard dailies and some other bosses that may come out in the future, you're just going to want to pick that up. It's pretty important. Zonde is a pretty cool tech to craft. Uh, all three of the techs are actually really good to craft for it. I personally recommend you get Type 0 Zonde. It's really good for doing high DPS on enemies and bosses that are weak to lightning. Otherwise, if you are a TA'er, you're going to want to get either Efficient Zonde or Concentrated. They're both really good depending on what you want to do with them. So just play around with them and see what you like the best. For Razande, I opted to pick up Powercrafted Razande. I use it a ton in Amduskia Ultimate Quest and I think it's really good for mobbing. If you're not interested in that sort of thing, you can use it as a replacement for the PP reduction craft of Zonde. Otherwise, you can just leave it for now. You're not going to use it too much unless you're in an actual quest that requires lightning techs. The only other lightning tech that you're going to want to craft is Il Zonde. Il Zonde, you're just going to want to craft for charge time reduction as much as possible. It just helps you move around faster. Oh, also one quick tech craft you want to get is Fierce on Deal. It just gives you status effect and an extra 1 meter of range, which is pretty good. Starting out with Wind Techs, uh, I crafted Zan for charge time reduction, just to cast it faster. Uh, Razan, I opted for multi-hit. Razan's one of those interesting situations where 
multi-hit actually does more than the power craft because the extra hits of Razen in the end just do more damage. For Sazen, I crafted it for PP reduction. You're not going to be using it too much to do damage, but it is really good for building up chain. It's also good for tech cancelling. So Nazan is a really fun skill to play with. They broke this skill recently and made it the strongest wind skill in the game with Type 0 Nazan. What you're going to do is you're going to grab Type 0 Nazan and learn how to use it immediately with a Talus. It's really good. For Xanverse, you're just going to want to get a charge time reduction craft. You can use this for a really quick charge into your compound Texas Force Tekker. Otherwise, if you're playing support, it's really good to have Xanverse uptime as fast as you can get it up. The last tech you're going to be crafting for your win techniques is Ilzen. And Ilzen, you're also going to want to get a charge time reduction on this craft. The alternate craft is Wide Ilzan. It sucks in more enemies, but it's not good enough where you want to drop being able to cast it super fast. Especially in quests like Yamato, where stuff dies super fast, sucking them in isn't really that important. So now we're getting into the biggest category of the game, and arguably the strongest your light technique crafts. So, starting off, the first one I got was Power Grants. Power Grants are really good if you're using an Elysian. It's also pretty good if you have the Seraphy Jet Boots. Uh, overall, Power Grants is used if you're playing Tech or Braver, but I've also seen people use it for stuff like Dio Hunar on its arms as well. The best light tech in the game so far is Raw Grants. You're going to want to get a charge time reduction on this craft. It does so much damage. Similar to a few other techs we discussed, being able to cast this faster is more important than having a higher power craft for raw grants, so make sure to get the highest charge time reduction value that you can get. For Resta, you're just going to want to get a power craft on this. The value is not too important. The biggest thing you want to make sure is that if you just tap Resta, it fully heals you if you have around 6 to 700 HP. With Anti, you're going to want to get a PP reduction craft. Anti is mostly used to remove your status effects, so you can get the benefits of super treatment. Having the PP reduction craft isn't extremely important, because super treatment takes care of that anyway, so it's really up to you how you want to play with that. Now, Nagrants, you're going to want to get multi-hit Nagrants. This is mainly used for stuff like Vibrus and TD4 to get a quick status effect on it and whatnot. It does a fair amount of damage, but I would fair to say that Raw Grants does a whole lot more. But regardless, you're going to want to pick up this tech. It's pretty good. The last tech craft I want to go over is Ill Grants. You're actually not going to want to get a tech craft for this. Ill Grants is primarily used for status effect like Nah Grants, except it's used in situations where you can't really get Nah Grants over the boss. So your tech crafts will reduce your status effect rate, which is really bad for something like this. If you are not interested in causing the status effect, you can get Swift. It works pretty well. Alright, so the last techs we're going to get in the game are our Dark Techniques. There's only a few of these that you're going to use, but they are pretty good on stuff weak to dark. Starting off, you're going to want to get charge time reduction on Gimmagid. This is mostly used for mobs or bosses who don't move a lot. Uh, with a fully grinded dark weapon, you can do 10k plus 3 times on bosses and mobs weak to dark, so it's really good to pick up. The next tech craft that you'll want to get is Namajid. You're going to get a power craft on Namajid. You can use this to quickly break parts on bosses. So if you're doing something like solo XQ, you can use it to break like Fall Dragon's tail or Diabo's wings really easily. Otherwise, if you have stuff weak to dark that moves around a lot, Namajid can do a ton of damage and it just sticks on the boss. There are a few other applications for Namajid, so, so let's say you're running time attacks and you have an Elysian. 
you can use it to zondeal a pack of enemies and quickly namaged the whole pack to do a lot of burst damage. It can build up your photon blast almost immediately, so that's something to look into if you're interested. The last tech craft we're going to get is Ramajid. Ramajid has a new tech craft that's pretty fun to play around with. Uh, Type 0 Ramajid creates a aura of circles around you that deal damage when you're right next to enemies. You can do a lot of fun stuff like, let's say you're fighting PD, you can just have Ramajid up constantly. It does bonus damage. It's not a ton, but it's enough to where you want to consider it. You can also use it for stuff like Mother if you hold down Ramajid right before you get on Rideroid, you'll actually have Ramajid during Rideroid. It's pretty funny. It goes away, but hey, extra damage is extra damage. With that, I'm going to conclude my tech crafting video. Uh, don't forget to check out the description for a link of all the text that I did not discuss in the video. There's a lot of stuff and it's very hard to go over all of it in one video. So in the future, if you like this one, I'll probably do some more in-depth ones, hopefully with some video to show what I mean when describing certain applications. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully in the future I can get more content like this if you guys really like this video. So yeah, let me know down below what you think. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm up most of the time, I'll be able to answer them fairly quickly in the comment section. But yeah, thanks guys.